the great American annular solar eclipse of 2023. You guys ready? It is the hamster. Uh, uh, Roger, it's the hamster. Yeah, I like this kind of, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of things going on, Israel, Ukraine, there's all kinds of shit, but this is like nature, right? This is, this is God. God said, there shall be an eclipse and you're going to like it, humans. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when some populations in this world decided to toss people into volcanoes to bring those eclipses, you know, bring the sun back and all that stuff. I find this shit fascinating. Sergeant Grinch, nice. Thank you. Tom Laundry is here. Okay, nah, but, but, but this is only a preview for the big dude, the big deal, the big dealio, the big fat hamster coming up next year, next spring, April 8th, 2024. Anyway, let's go to the weather chain. This is coming up tomorrow, guys, right? This is tomorrow. Now, Scotty's side over there in Portland, Oregon, you know, and shit on the West Coast and people in California, you're going to get it early. Like, you're going to have to get up uh, like at seven, maybe, uh, six in the morning. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, I guess it'll be eclipsed uh, on, on the, the sunrise you know, early. But here in St. Louis, Missouri, it's like nine o'clock in the morning, so hamster can sleep in. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Godfather of Ramadi. Happy Friday the 13th. Now, is there some coincidence here? God said, let there be an eclipse, and it's the day before the Friday. The I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's watch the Weather Channel. I'm sorry. Is, this, is she a ginger? Right. It's Ooh. a spectacular, even. Ooh. Mm hmm. Standing on a trampoline. Breathtaking sight. A ring of yes. fire in the sky. And for the first time since 2012, we in the U.S. get to see it an annular solar eclipse. That's kind of what it looks like. You know, a little like a. What was that thing in the mm -hmm. interstellar? The black hole. Gargantuan. You just need a little bit of, you know, other stuff there. It'd be great. So what is it? As with a total... Uh, well, it's the sun and the moon, and the moon's pissing me off because he's getting in the way of my sunshine. Oh, no. Solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse is when the mm -hmm. moon passes between the sun and the earth. But um... And what is the big thing about the annular? Sweet uh, redhead. Uh, go ahead. Like its celestial sister, the moon is at its farthest point from the earth. The result, <sighs> the moon appears smaller than the sun. Which oh, no. Gee, you know, it's crazy. You know, isn't it? <laughs> Let me, where's my tinfoil? Oh, yeah, here it is. Hold on. Isn't it crazy that the moon just happens to be the same fucking size of the sun <sighs> from the earth? You know, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> it's just, no, no, no. Nothing to do with God or anything. Just no. where the ring of fire comes in. Mm -hmm. Because the sun is never completely covered by the moon. Da, da, da. A burning ring of fire. <laughs> Eye protection must be worn the entire time. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Don't look at the sun, guys. Uh, mm, excuse me. Don't look at the sun with your eyeballs, okay? It's going to be a bad day for you, okay? Don't do that. Thank you. Regular sunglasses won't cut it. There are specially made eclipse shades designed to allow for safe viewing. Now, so now, sort of half ginger, uh, back in 1979 when there was a partial solar eclipse. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Hamster went to the shop. You know, when we used to have a shop, you know, where people could go and make things like wood and weld and shit, they had these welder's goggles that thought, well, you know, they worked all right. Uh, what's it? Uh, today? Oh, my God. Experience all phases of the eclipse. Mm. Maybe somewhere along the path of annularity. And oh, look at that. Right through Scotty's side here in Oregon. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Scotty, you're going to be blinded tomorrow. You and Jake are going to get up or Ick or Ike or whatever. He's like, oh, why is it dark now, man? I'm like, give me, give me another beer. What am I going to do? This is the path across the United States mm -hmm. for the October 14th event. Uh, totalitarian. Starting in Dune City, Oregon. Mm. Now, right over here is where the hamster is. I wonder if we're going to see anything. <laughs> you think? It's its way southeast, ending in Corpus Christi, Texas. 
Well, mm. six and a half million people live within the path, many more within driving distance. And the closer you are to the center line of the path of annularity, the longer you'll see the ring of fire. Wow, geez, thank you. Uh, really appreciate that. Don't despair if you aren't in the exact path. While you won't see the full annular solar eclipse, you will I, see a partial eclipse. For example, Los Angeles will see a 71% partial eclipse. 71%? Jesus, God almighty, Chicago's going to get 50% pulse kebab. There you go. Don't stare into the sun, bro. Here in St. Louis, we're going to bet like 60%. Chicago, nearly half. Well, and yeah. New Yorkers will see 23% uh -oh. of the annular eclipse. Mm -hmm. When the moon makes its move in front of the sun, Ooh. the sky won't be quite as dark as in a total solar eclipse. But, but it's going to be cool anyway. The air could be cooler. Ooh. And to fully experience it, you need a clear view of the sun and moon. But even if there are clouds, you'll still notice an eerie daytime darkness. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Those in parts of Texas, including San Antonio, will get a double delight. They are also in the path of the total solar eclipse happening. Of 2024. So That's right. And guess who is in the path of totality in April 2020? <laughs> you be correct. That is the hamster. Thank Keep you. your glasses. No, I think it was Collin Collinsville or somewhere in, in Illinois. They got the last one in 2017, full totality. Yes, they sold a lot of beer that weekend <laughs> because 100,000 people showed up to see it. I was in Phoenix, but I'll tell you that story in a moment. Mm. Wow, you're looking at, what are you looking at here? Uh, okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's that's the end of that. We put our heart. So we got an annular eclipse, and Scotty's side is going to be right in the middle of the whole fucking lot. I wonder if Scotty is going to take some pictures and help us understand. Where's my fucking stream yard? There it is. Hey, all right. Okay, those are her GG Googles. Call it. Was it Collinsville Easter Sunday? Yeah, yeah. It was over in Illinois. Not that far away, but I think St. Louis, April of 2024, we are like right on the fucking hairy edge of totality. Now, it was 2017. Mr. Hamster was in Arizona. And, oh my God, Denver had almost full total. We just had to go up to Cheyenne. You know, that. of course, I was in Arizona. I couldn't. But we got about 60%, maybe 70% down in Phoenix. It was pretty fucking cool. It really nice. So I'm looking forward to the one tomorrow and the one next April because that's the way it is. Pulse Kebab is here. Hello. Scotty isn't even here, Hamster. Stop yelling at everybody. Why? Why do you hate me? Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Both. All right. Let's see the path of totality. Hold on here. Let me find it. We got it here. Anyway, tomorrow, don't miss it, though. You know, you don't stare at the sun. But it's still fucking cool, right? The sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what you could do is you have a pair of binoculars, for example. You don't want to stare at the sun because that would burn your eyes out. Take the binoculars, put it up to the sun, project it on a wall. You'll see it. It'll be fantastic. All right. Let's see the uh, – hold on. Stop sharing. Uh, let's see. Uh, do that. All right. Total solar eclipse, 2024. Yes. Oh, wait. Wrong keyboard. Oh. Total solar eclipse, 2024. Let's see what happens here. Maybe we'll get some. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a preview. Here we go. All right. Yeah, this will work. All right, hold on. <laughs> yeah, we'll share that. So tomorrow is the day, guys. So take some pictures if you can, and we'll share them. Okay, total solar eclipse preview. All right, go ahead. We'll blow that up. All right, go ahead. Lowe's, go to Lowe's and get your glasses. And the best tools. That's why yep. Lowe's is bringing you the largest in-store selection mm -hmm. of client tools. So no right, matter what right, job right, you right, got, right, right, Lowe's right. The soil and is now less than three years away. At 4 minutes and 28 seconds, totality will last almost two minutes longer than it did for observers in America back in 2017. 
Mm -hmm. As you can see, the entire continent of North America will experience at least a partial eclipse in 2024. The place to be, however, is in the thin path of totality that the small circle of the umbra traces across the globe. As usually happens, the umbra first touches the Earth's surface out at sea in the Pacific Ocean. A good bit of the path of this eclipse is out over the open water, so much so that the on-land eclipse is entirely an afternoon event. The umbra gradually moves east, making landfall at 12.09 p.m. near Mazatlan, Mexico. At local noon, 12.17, it reaches the place on the globe where totality will last longer than anywhere else, a full 4 minutes and 28 seconds near Durango, Mexico. Ten minutes later, the moon's shadow enters U.S. soil, where it crosses the state of Texas, skirting the northwest suburbs of San Antonio before encompassing Waco, Dallas, and... Obviously, you can see here, St. Louis is right there, so we're just uh, 25 miles away. It'll be fine. Fort Worth. A good bit of Arkansas will also see totality before the shadow moves into the Midwest. The center line passes south of Indianapolis, where they will see the whole show. Residents of Columbus, Ohio, will only have to make a short drive to get into the path of totality, while Cleveland and then Rochester are nearly bullseyed by the center line. The Umbra straddles the U.S. Canadian border along the western edge of New England, with Montreal and Burlington both in the path. Once the Umbra enters Maine, mm, Bay of Fundy, uh, Hampshire's been there, up there in Canada. Eh? It stays mostly. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Mostly in low population <laughs> areas as it crosses New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island before mm. seeing land for the last time in Newfoundland. All in all, Newfoundland, Newfies. Access yeah. to totality yeah. in 2024. The eclipse crosses Mexico, right there. touches 11 U.S. states, as well as the eastern edge of Canada. Even if you can't manage to travel to the path of totality, a monstrous chunk of landmass will see the moon cover more than 80% of yep. the sun's disk. The other thing to consider as you start planning is where the best weather is likely to be. Jay Anderson and Jennifer West over at Eclipsophile.com have assembled invaluable cloud cover maps based on long-term satellite data. The very short version of the story is that Mexico and Texas historically have the least chance of cloud cover on April 8th. Mm. So head on over to their website and read the detailed reports for each region that's going to be touched by the eclipse's path. The site is listed in the show notes, and I'll go into more detail about cloud cover predictions in upcoming episodes as we all figure out exactly where we want to be on the afternoon of April 8th, 20. I want to be where I am because, you know, we're going to see most of the uh, totality. Anyway, guys, tomorrow, don't miss the annular solar eclipse. Don't stare into the freaking sun. Get some glasses, some welding helmets or some shit. Or just talk to uh, Iridium Kush because he's familiar with this kind of shit. All right. I look forward to taking pictures tomorrow and sharing them. Ugh, hopefully I won't kill my camera. But it might be worth it. We'll see. All right, guys, have a good night. Let's get together tomorrow and look at some Eclipse shit because this is fun stuff. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.